we uh, have a whole bunch of uh, of workers across Manitoba who desperately need raises, who haven't had raises sometimes in many years. A bargaining update letter from the Manitoba Teachers Society sent to members and shared online is showing several sticking points between the union and the employer's organization. The MTS did not publicly share the letter, but City News has been able to verify the authenticity of it. Among the asks from the union include wage increases, which consider inflation and raises that are beyond 2%. The union claimed in its letter that they are also noticing, like the Manitoba General Employees Union, an unwritten wage mandate on the part of the province that is preventing any new wage increases beyond 2% a year. The PCs, while taking raises of 3% and more for themselves, are demanding that everybody else takes 2%. The MTS is also asking for the harmonization of teacher salary scales, which the union says would allow for a northern and southern salary scale that has the best of the best wages. City News reached out to the MTS regarding the letter, but they said they are unable to provide any information publicly about bargaining. The letter details that the MTS reached an impasse with the employer's organization on June 13th and that they are now initiating binding interest arbitration. How much of an increase? Are they far behind? Do they need to be caught up? Are they being paid more than market rate? Those types of things. So those are all the considerations that, are, you know, and there's, there's lots of others. But those are the primary ones that arbitrators are looking at. The union in their letter to members said, quote, if we had the right to strike similar to MGEU, QP or other public sector unions, we would be asking our members to walk off the job. The MTS lost the right to strike in the 1950s in return for binding arbitration. The, the biggest downside or the biggest risk is ending up with an agreement that you think you may not be able to live with. In a statement to City News, the Manitoba NDP said, quote, Teachers are tired of Heather Stephenson's disrespect. She made class sizes larger and cut funding from classrooms with plans for millions more in cuts if she is re-elected. Now, City News reached out to the PCs, but they did not respond back in time for broadcast. In Winnipeg, Edward Jan, City News.